Hi Chelsea. Hi. Good win uh, on Sunday, a late Sunday uh, kickoff, and it must have been a little bit cold as well. Yeah, it was a bit chilly. It was actually quite a really nice day, and then obviously as the sun starts to drop, it gets a bit cold. But yeah, it was a good game, and I'm really happy with the three points. It was a little bit of a slow start, and uh, the woodwork did come in to uh, help you out to start with first half. Yes, obviously we were a bit lucky with the woodwork in the first half, but I definitely don't think that that was, you know, their only chance. We definitely defended well when we were under the pump in that first maybe 10 minutes, but then obviously we relaxed and then we started playing the way we like to play and, you know, we scored in the first half and we got another two in the second. It was quite a strike from Tegan as well. Yes, it was a very good strike and it was a very good... Um, Assist from Tia as well. She did really, really well considering that was her first senior start and coming from the 23s and it being such a high pressure situation, it's always a hard game against Gold Coast. She did really, really well. Excellent. Yeah, look, and as I say, the second half kind of went on with it a little bit. Didn't, they didn't, didn't seem to offer too much in the second half. Um, yeah, they definitely still pushed though. Like they pushed and definitely felt a little bit under the pump in the first couple bit in the second half as well. But I think once, you know, we just realised the way that we have to play is going to win us the game. We definitely settled right down and definitely took control of that second half and then finished it off towards the end. I know Marielle's been away for a little bit of period yeah. of time. Was it, it must have been a little bit of a change. Was it good to see her back on the park? It was definitely good to see her back on the park. You know, she had to go back to Brazil for family reasons and we all definitely missed her. And then when she came back, she got COVID, the poor thing. But we're definitely happy to see her at training during the week. And, you know, it's great to have her back on the pitch. She's such you know, a confident and she's such a vital part of this team, so it's really nice to have her back. Lots of hard work has finally paid off for yourself, I see, and obviously coming back from injury, you've been uh, selected for uh, the AFF uh, Matilda squad. Yes, that's really exciting for me. It's obviously just a preliminary squad, so there's more cuts to come, but just the recognition of, you know, not really playing consistent football for nearly three years and coming back from three separate injuries, it's a nice little touch on you know all the hard work that I have been putting in but you know more hard work is still to come and if I don't get selected then you know I just need to know to work a little bit harder but yeah it is an honour to be selected in that preliminary squad and you know it's nice to know that like, I'm back on the radar and could possibly be seeing myself in that Matilda set up soon. What's involved with it so where, where do you go from here? So if I do make the squad we'll be going to the Philippines and we'll be playing um, a couple of that different Asian countries and we're just in like a sort of a group pool and then after you know if you win your group then you kind of move on so yeah it's kind of something like that like if you're to qualify like you're in a pool just to qualify for the next round so that's what it does entail we'll be away for I think two to three weeks so hopefully fingers crossed I'll be in that squad. Um, do you know when you find out? Um, no I don't know when I find out. Well, look, it's been great, great that uh, you've got that recognition and the fingers crossed for you that you do uh, get into that final squad and uh, obviously well done on the win at the weekend. And uh, we go again, well, when do you, do you know when you head away if you do get selected? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so hopefully you should be playing and coming this weekend as well for the as a double header as well. Yes, that's very exciting for us to have a double header with the boys and also love the double header where the girls get to play second and the boys will get to stick around and support us. It's something that the club prides itself on is like bringing the boys and the girls teams closer, whether it be just in friendship or in equality. So it's really exciting to have that game this weekend. Well done, Chelsea. Congratulations and uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Chelsea.